Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to go over a quick and easy way to go about subdividing a parcel with a swing line in Civil 3D. Let's get started. For the full uninterrupted version of this lesson, check the links in the description. In this exercise you'll subdivide a parcel with a segment that swings from a reference point from the back lot line. This exercise continues from subdividing a parcel with a slide line. We'll start by going into our parcel-1D drawing, which is located in our Tutorials folder. Go ahead and go over to your Home tab, and then to your Create Design panel. Next, select the Parcel dropdown, and select Parcel Creation Tools. Now we get our Parcel Layout Tools toolbar. If you're not seeing the parcel parameters, make sure that this chevron is fully expanded. For this lesson, we're going to keep our parcel sizing at its defaults, and we're just going to select this drop down and select Swing Line Create. Now we get our Create Parcels Layout dialog box. Make sure that the parcel style is set to single family and select OK. Need to learn more about Civil 3D? Check out the online courses at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com forward slash online. There you can purchase courses or subscribe to a monthly or annual subscription to courses to stay current with Civil 3D. Hope to see you there. Now our command line is asking us to select a parcel to be subdivided and we're going to pick that by selecting this lot label for 102. Then we're going to select our frontage by roughly clicking this area right here and extending all the way around to roughly this area. Now we specify our swing point. Go ahead and pan over and I want you to Put your cursor right around the 2 in 102. And then from that point, go straight up from there to the back lot line and click. We're going to accept the result, and there you have it. We now have a parcel that's exactly 8,000 square feet, which is specified in our parcel sizing under the minimum area. And the remainder distribution which is specified to place the remainder in the last parcel is within our parcel 102 as you can see right here. So that's how you go about subdividing a parcel with a swing line in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about AutoCAD Civil 3D, check out all the free content at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on the YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.